And how about this one? Open. For 29-year-old Monique, time with her two-year-old daughter, Talina, is precious. Monique lives every day with a nagging fear that her family will someday be torn apart. I'm actually scared if I get deported, um, what would happen with her. Monique was about Talina's age when her father, Miguel, uprooted his family to escape the crime and gangs in her Mexican hometown. Our parents brought us here because they fear for our lives and they want a better future like any other parent would want for their children. Since 2015, Monique has been protected from deportation under DACA. But during her early childhood, Monique never knew her parents were undocumented. Now, a new study reveals that children these days are highly aware of their parents' immigration status, and it may be affecting their mental health. It's the first study where we can really confidently isolate the effect of the DACA eligibility of the mothers on the mental health of the children. The social science research team, led by Stanford University's Policy Lab, analyzed claims data from over 8,000 children whose moms participated in Oregon's emergency Medicaid program, frequently used by undocumented mothers. They compared the children of women born just before and after the cutoff date for DACA eligibility. For the women who qualified for DACA, their children's mental health issues like stress and anxiety decreased by 50%. What was surprising to us about the results, one was that this drop was very, very large. They know that because of the protections uh, that are granted by DACA, that their parents are safe. Monique's father was working to obtain his U.S. visa, but was stricken with cancer and died before it was granted. That day I was in the hospital, he said, keep on dreaming. Um, don't let this, you know, keep you from pursuing your dreams. For Monique, the dream is a happily ever after in the U.S. with her family. Can I get a hug? I'm Jessica Sanchez Aww. reporting.